What if I told you that a game of the year contending Metroidvania is launching right now? Meet Islets, a cute as heck Metroidvania adventure with the combat, abilities, traversal, and story to back up my goatee claims. In Islets, you'll play as Eco, a mouse with lofty aspirations to save the world and be the hero, although that's much easier said than done. The world has been shattered into floating islands thanks to some devious beasts, and it's up to you to reunite these islands and be the hero you've wanted to be. After your rickety ship meets some turbulence, you'll descend onto the first island and here's where that sweet metroidvania gameplay begins. You'll start off with a sword, a bow, and a dodge roll. It's a simple move set at first, but it gets the job done. Traversal begins simple as well, but it's incredibly fluid and this really opens up the more you play. Islet's islands are composed of distinct regions and sub-areas filled with enemies, surprise combat encounters, platforming sections, and bosses. Along your journey you'll meet a whole slew of adventurers, friends, and other quirky characters you don't want to miss. This is a metroidvania through and through. Abilities, upgrades, and more are often gated away and will require certain traversal abilities in order to reach them. That's not true for all of Islet's secrets though, which encourages combing through every nook and cranny of this game's world. As you reach bosses, you'll be met with a challenge that will put your skills and pattern recognition to the test. These bosses are very well designed and not overly punishing at the default difficulty. Thankfully, you can adjust the difficulty on the fly if you need more or less of a challenge. These fights will often lead to new abilities that make traversal even more fun. Like the cloud arrows, for example. These arrows give you extra platforms and also can block projectiles, which really comes in handy in trickier platforming sections. I've shown you a bit of what you'll see on land, but that's not all Islets has to offer. There's a complete in-air hub world that is a wonderful addition to this game's overall loop. Here, you can purchase stat upgrades, acquire map and fast travel upgrades, talk with some of those you met along the way, upgrade your ship, and engage in some bullet hell shmup style boss encounters. I loved these sections and it added a new layer into the mix that made the game feel even more special. It's the culmination of all of these elements that makes Islets a game of the year contender for me. The bosses are memorable and provide just enough challenge to where even as a tiny mouse, I always feel like I can overcome them. The platforming is superb, which is only further enhanced by the abilities you gain along the way. The story and characters strike a balance between cozy and cute with just enough danger and mystery in the game to keep me wanting more. My true benchmark for Metroidvania greatness is this. Is getting lost a frustration or a welcome opportunity. In Islets, it was a blast exploring everything the game had to offer while taking in the wonderful soundtrack and hand-painted visuals which were gorgeous. Islets releases today on PC, Switch, and Xbox, and if you're looking for a memorable Metroidvania, I highly recommend it. Are you planning on picking this up? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please leave a like, and if you're always in search of your next favorite games, then make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. Speaking of more videos like this one, you can click on either of these links on screen now, and I'll see you in the next one.